Hey guys, welcome to Mr. Bookworm. So today I am gonna be um, going through all of the books that I've read in 2020. So first up we have Ruskin Bond, The Blue Umbrella. And I really loved this book. It was easy to read and fun and interesting. So really interesting book. And second up is Secret Seven and this is the Secret Seven book and it was like um it was like solving a mystery or a case and it was um really mysterious and fun book to describe it. And third we have I'm twelve years old and I saved the world which I clearly did not understand but um it, um, it's by D.K. Brantley, and it was a fun book. Third up, no, sorry, fourth up, fourth up we have My Saves the Day by Mira Nair. Um, I had finished the, I had finished this book in 2017, and it was a funny and easy to read book. And I especially love the hole in the left hand side corner. Next up is Christmas Carol, which it was like um, th uh, three spirits um, which talk about the present, past, and future. And it was um, a little bit spooky, not that much. And um, it was a fun and easy to read book. You guys should try this. It's really good. Next up, we have Charlotte Webb by E.B. White, which I had already done a review on. If you want to check it out, um, please click the next video, but come back here so you can see this. So, this was a fun, easy, and understandable book, which I have to say. And next we have Geronimo Stilton, The Hunt for the Secret Papyrus. And um, this I read in 2018. I, I, um, it was a fun and easy to read. Um, it was um, easy to understand too. Next up, we have Gangsta Granny, which is super funny and humorous. It's a great humorous book written by David Williams, and um, um, it's a funny and well-illustrated book. So it's like this in a few pages. Next up, we have David Williams, The Ice Monster, and this was... Um, not funny, I guess, but I guess it was um, like solving a mammoth's death in a mystery. And um, it was an adventurous book, and I could just finish the book in um, three to four days. It was so easy. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone is, um, I didn't. I couldn't really understand the book because it's the adult version. I, um, for younger readers, I would prefer the illustrated version of Harry Potter. There are only four books, so you don't get the whole series in it. But for the adult version, you do. So, next up, we have Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, which I did not understand it all. It's a super hard book to read and not understandable kind of a book. But people who are good readers can understand, I guess. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban is, um, um, so it was like, um, a great adventurous book and um, I'm still going on with the fourth one and 
it's kind of hard to read that it takes a lot of time and um, yeah 14 winning strategy from Olympic champions is written by my father um, and is it's a great book but I really didn't understand the book and Last up is Dogman for Whom the Balls Roll, the last book of the series in Dogman. And it's written by Dave Pelkey. Pelkey. Dave Pelkey. And um, it, um, it's a graphics novel that looks like this. And, um, so it's a funny book, but I really don't like um graphic novels as much as I read more chapter books. So I like more, I prefer reading um, chapter books than just reading graphic novel books and graphics. Um, so that's about it. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel and I will see you in my next video. Till then, see you next time. Goodbye.